Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for uh, the next big four changes that are going on in your life in 2024. Uh, I don't know. We're, uh, I have like a little bit of a scheduling issue, so <laughs> I need to get back on the right schedule. So we're doing a random reading right now just for just for fun. So uh, you have the beaver and the fire ant in for your first big change in 2024. Uh, so the beaver kind of represents your foundation, obviously. And the fire ant can represent things coming to a head or kind of, um, you know, things coming to a point and a hot point. Um, so it's kind of interesting because I feel like obviously some of you want to move. You have the um, you have the chariot here, and the chariot could be moving. The fire ant card could say that it's getting to a point where you are um, like needing to move, or you are um, you know you can't you just don't want to be where you are any longer. And so I feel like some of you are trying to take control, or you're trying to figure out. Uh, damn, I love this number one. We'll talk about that in a minute, but um, you know it's like you're trying to figure out what you need to do to take control. The interesting thing is is that I also feel like some of you could be moving like somewhere where there are fire fire ants, <laughs> literally. So it's like maybe you live in the north and you're like moving south, right? Or um, I don't I don't really know what the what the actual range of fire ants is, but it's like, I don't know, maybe you're moving, you live somewhere where there aren't fire ants and you're moving somewhere where there are. So that's kind of interesting. But I feel like some of you, the next big change literally could be a change. You um, moving, you, uh, you know, going somewhere new or different in your life. And, uh, you know, obviously this is going to be a good thing, I feel. Uh, the beaver kind of represents, again, like laying a solid foundation or uh, having a solid foundation, uh, trying to create a solid foundation. It's like you're putting the work in as well. You know, the, the card itself, I'm pretty sure in the book for this deck for the beaver that um, Kim Krantz, uh, you know, this is a wild unknown animal oracle. And she says that the beaver is about a like actually putting in the work to create the stability. So it's not just about like having stability, but you are taking the steps to do that. And we see that here because you have the stability card coming up, number one. Number two, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles says, is the juice worth the squeeze? You know, he's looking at everything that he's working on in his life and he's saying, um, is it worth it or not? <laughs> Was it worth it to put all this work in to grow these pentacles or is there something better that I could be doing with my time? And the interesting thing is, is that you go to the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is also a card of growth or growing something. And so it looks to me like you are figuring out like what things in your life um, produce a result, a positive result, and what things don't, and you're focusing on that, which is great. You have the uh, um, emperor here. I really feel you're trying to take control. Uh, for a lot of you, this has to do with a move. It kind of makes sense. You know, You know, one thing I will say is like, you have Jupiter entering into your sign this year, and um, you know, so I don't know. I, I, I feel like some of you could be like trying to, exp whenever Jupiter enters into your sign, then you want to expand into the world. Like you're trying to expand into the world, and um, you know, it could be one of those things where uh, you are trying to expand into the world. <laughs> it could be one of those things where you are trying to take, you're like moving so that you can expand or so you can get a better opportunity or so that you can create more stability with the beaver. And, you know, I think that's what's going on here. You have the chariot. The chariot is a victory, of course, can can be a move, of course, as well. Uh, the chariot really represents as above, so below. He's got these stars in his canopies, uh, the moons on his shoulders here. And so the chariot basically says that um, because he is in alignment, he it, the universe is bringing him in a direction and, that, and that's what leads to a victory. So as long as you stay in alignment with like what you truly want as above, so below, then you will get the things that you want. So let's see where this is going for you. Uh, with the emperor, you have the 10 of swords, which you have twice here. Some of you, there definitely could be a breakup. Sorry, wrong camera. Uh, there could be a breakup or a separation going on here. Uh, but it is interesting. You have the emperor and the empress. So we're going to have to look into this because, you know, you start and end there, you know, divine counterparts. But what, like, what's the freaking problem here? <laughs> it's almost like some of you could have, maybe you feel like you lost your emperor or you feel like you lost your um, empress or something like that. Uh, you know, take it how it resonates. Now you're single and or somebody's heartbroken here. It is weird. I mean, you have this bad health card and this thoughts card as well. It's like, I, I'm just going to say this again, take this with a grain of salt. Okay. What I'm about to say, but I do feel that some of you might have a person who is in bad health. And again, I'm not putting that out there or anything, but I'm just saying, right. It, you know, and it could be a past person. Maybe you, you thought you were divine counterparts with, and they could be thinking about you here or, and, and like, because they're in bad health, they could be like reaching out or something like that. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. 
Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there was definitely like some sort of left out in the cold situation here. I really feel you're healing from this situation though, because, you know, I'm, I'm going to show you on the bigger version of the card, but, you know, the Ten of Swords to me is actually a good card. Um, he's making the symbol right here with his hands that can represent a blessing. And so the Ten of Swords to me can represent like a blessing in disguise. Like, I, I, I'm wondering if you had a falling out with a person that you thought was a divine counterpart and now you're seeing it as a blessing in disguise, it's like, yes, you are both left out in the cold. That naturally happens with the Five of Pentacles. But the Five of Pentacles says, do not call attention to your strengths. Focus on your weakness. I mean, do not call attention to your weaknesses. Focus on your strengths. Don't go the other way. And the Nine of Pentacles would really tell me that you are focusing on your strengths. So, you know, I kind of feel like it, there are two people here for some of you. One's focusing on the weaknesses. The other one's focusing on the strengths. You. And with the chariot, you have the ace of swords, definitely a victory coming in for you here. So there probably is a big win or you are winning. And obviously I would be careful of the past person as well. Um, you know, if they are, uh, you know, coming back, looking for something, looking for money, looking for a handout, like this bad health card, I do feel that, you know, again, this might only be for like one of you, but I do feel some of you have a past person that is in bad health, but, um, and this person's clearly thinking about you with the next row here. But, um, I also feel this could be like bad financial health. So they could be coming in looking for money, but it's like, maybe they didn't do anything to ever deserve your money in the first place, you know? So I would be very careful of that. Uh, I do feel like a lot of you could be thinking, um, you know, about brighter days, bigger, you know, improving things. It is kind of interesting as well that I feel that some of you are kind of like focusing, sorry, I almost messed that up, but, um, you know, I, I think it's interesting that some of you could be really focusing on the health of things in your life, like not necessarily your health, but, you know, your financial health and or your business health or whatever it is, right? And you are making changes. We see that here. Um, you have the four swords, which is like trying to heal. And so I feel a lot of you are going through healing. He's also praying for blessings. There's a person right here who is blessing another person in that window. So I feel for a lot of you that you are either praying or hoping to receive blessings. And um, again, this could say that there are blessings coming in for you. So if you want to receive blessings, this could be like you receiving blessings from a person or a situation. And uh, I definitely really like to see that for you here, uh, Gemini. Uh, I also feel that some of you are just healing from something like a heartbreak. And, um, you know, again, the other thing that I'm getting here is that this could be the year where you finally do heal from something. Like maybe something has, for a small percentage of you, I feel that some maybe something has taken a very long time to heal from, and like a heartbreak or heartbreaking situation. Doesn't even have to be love. It could just be something else. And you have the three of swords here, um, but you could be healing this. You have this mending card. So we really see that, you know, there are several changes going on in this reading because that's what this reading is about, big changes. But I kind of feel like overall, it's about, healing and creating stability, more stability in your life. But this is going to be a good thing. Uh, and, and you have this amazing card that we're about to talk about in a second. And you have the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, again, Nine of Pentacles, really good card of your skills. She has these grapes behind her. And grapes in the tarot represent something that is very difficult to grow. So grapes are challenging to grow, um, but she is able to grow them very well. So it kind of says that you have a talent, gift, skill, or ability that you have uh, that is very difficult for most people that can make you very successful. So really good time to tap into your talent, skills, skills, and abilities. Uh, I would also say that I feel like you're very independent right now and focusing on your independence. You know, cl it's clear to me that maybe a person hurt you going this way, this way, both ways here. Uh, I feel like you're getting justice in the situation, uh, which is nice. It's like you're getting positive karma. But, um, you know, again, this person could still be in your thoughts or, you know, whatever, even if you're totally over it. I'm not even saying that you're not um, that you would go back to this person, right? I, th I think some of you are totally over it. <laughs> but, um, you know, again, you could still think, you can be over something and still think about a person. Uh, you have the Nine of Cups. So Nine of Cups is about focusing on exactly what you want. I feel like some of you need to change your uh, your daily habits, your daily routines and things like that, right? Um, you know, just so that you can change your mindset. I think that like, you know, after reading for many years, like I've, I've never read about exes anyway um, on my channel because I think that it's super toxic. Like I don't care what anyone does, but like the other, I'm not hating on other readers or anything like that. I actually think at the same time, uh, you know, I did an interview a while ago where someone asked me about it and I was like, well, you know, it's like, yes, is it maybe toxic that people constantly watch readings about their ex and the ex never comes back and it causes more problems? I'm like, maybe, but you know, what I said in that interview is I was like, maybe it would normally take a person like a year to get over an ex, but maybe by watching those readings, it only takes them like three months, right? Because 
you, you keep listening to it and you're like, wait a minute, this person's a bozo. <laughs> I'm going to leave. So again, I don't know, maybe X back readings are actually beneficial because maybe it helps you get over it faster, right? Right. But, um, you know, what I would say here is that I feel like you're focusing on your own fulfillment with the nine of cups. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that, by the way. Sorry, <laughs> lost my train of thought. But I feel like for a lot of you that you're focusing on your own fulfillment, your own wish fulfillment. Um, you know, you're you're focusing on your own, you know, good energy, and that's what you should focus on. Oh, where, where I was going with that is, I feel like you need to start filling your head with good things. Like um, the nine of cups is about bathing in the energy of something you want. So again, if you've been watching a bunch of X back readings, maybe it's time to um, go watch something else. You know, about something else or maybe it's a time to change that habit. I've just, again, after reading for a long time where I was going with that is I've noticed like a lot of people have come to me and told me that they got into a habit where they just listened all day long to all these readings. And I, you know, I, I always tell those people, you got to change the habit. You got to fill it with something else. Go watch cat videos or, or something like that. Go do something, go do something different. Um, but this doesn't have to be love. Like, again, maybe you're worried about your finances and maybe it would be a good time for you to uh, start watching, you know, things that are positive about finances or learning about your finances, even if they're not great, right? And that could also be what you're doing. With the four swords, you have the ace of pentacles. Speaking of finances, you know, clearly there could be an improvement in your finances or things could be getting better. Uh, ace of pentacles is like a big opportunity. So, you know, I think that something has a lot of potential or, um, you know, you could be working on something that has potential. And this would obviously be a good thing with the uh, ace of pentacles. With the Nine of Pentacles, here you go. You have the Chariot, again, going this way. So Chariot is as above, so below. There is definitely something here about you um, really needing to uh, to pay very close attention to your energetic environment. And uh, definitely something like literally one of, one of my personal main focuses this year, and I recommend everybody does it, is paying attention to my energetic environment. Like I think it's actually gonna be a surprisingly good year for people. Like I think... Is it going to be perfect? No. Are there bad things happening? Absolutely. They're trying to start World War Three, as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, there's like a lot of bad stuff happening. Um, and, and I don't think we should necessarily ignore those things. But what I would say is I think that we're going to get to the end of the year and it's going to be, you know, on a personal level, surprisingly good for people and, you know, even financially as well. So again, I am encouraging people to, you know, it's an eight year. So we need to put energy into what we actually want. Right. And that's what I'd be doing with the chariot for sure you know, developing good habits, um, you know, folk, putting more positivity in your head, more good stuff, right? With the Nine of Cups, you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction, only seeing one way of doing things. So again, I, I would be careful of only seeing one way of doing things if you're like working on projects or businesses or, um, you know, anything you're working on, I would stay open. Uh, for your next big change, you have this awesome card, which says you will be a great success, but you'll have to go through it to get there. There's lessons to be learned. I think you've been through it and you're, you will be a great success. You have a stability card. It says you will be very stable and prosperous. It actually says you will be stable and very prosperous. <laughs> Make stability a top priority and commit yourself to consistency. Yes, that's definitely what I would focus on. There's something about a habit here, you know? Um, I literally just said that about changing a habit, but you know, I keep getting something about needing to kind of like, um, it's it's almost like you're building something into your day, you know? And so I feel that if you could um, build some positive habits into your day, you will literally change your life. Uh, just that simple. So that's what I would be doing here. You have the Three of Swords the Justice card and the Ten of Swords. The Three of Swords is like a separation. So I feel for some of you that there could be a separation that has happened that you are thinking about or that you have thought about. I'm not really sure, like if I'm being honest with you, like I don't claim to know everything, right? <laughs> and uh, I wouldn't trust a reader that does claim to know everything anyway, but I don't think we're meant to know everything. I really don't know what's going on here with this. I don't know, I don't really see a person coming back, but it's like they're showing up in this reading. So maybe you're, but you, you do have this mending card at the end. We'll, we'll find out when we get there, but it's like, are you healing from it? Are you trying to heal from it? Or can you not stop thinking about it? Like what's going on here? You know, um, I don't know. You, 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 you have to answer that question, um, but there's something that needs to be healed from. What I will say is you do have the justice card here. So part of me wonders if this could be like an apology or, um, you know, justice in this situation you could be getting positive karma. If you went through something like super toxic or challenging, it could be a person who's like trying to bring you, um, you know, it's like in, in a way I kind of get this feeling of maybe a person who feels guilty here for what they've done. 
I definitely don't think this is a perfect person, but you know, again, maybe the only thing they know how to do is come in and bring an apology. Um, and, you know, I guess maybe the challenge that I see here is I don't think they know how much an apology will mess you up. <laughs> uh, you know, not that not that an apology would be a bad thing, but it's like maybe you really don't want them in your energy, right? Maybe you really don't want them back. Maybe you just want to move forward. I don't know. Like I said, I don't. I have no freaking clue. So there you go. And I will just. I when I don't know, I just say it. So there you go. But th th that's kind of like the intuition I get there. You have the ten of swords. So again, you see this as dead done over with. Maybe this person thinks you're their divine counterpart. Maybe they were, but. Um, you know, I think that our divine counterparts can change in life. I don't think anyone, I don't think we have to be with anyone, right? <laughs> I don't think we have to be with a person. And, um, you know, I, I think that there are many people here on earth that we could be with at any given time. So, you know, I kind of feel that this could have been a, they could have been a divine counterpart, but they actually weren't because they did, they didn't act right. With the Three of Swords, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Yep, is the juice worth the squeeze right there? I think you're trying to decide if even being with this person was worth it in the first place. I really, even though you have the Six of Cups here, I personally do not read the Six of Cups as an ex coming back. And I really see you just dis deciding to move on to something else. With the Justice card, you have the Fool. Yes, choosing to take a leap of faith in a new direction. So I feel like you are choosing to leap towards stability and create more stability in your life. I'm also kind of getting the feeling here that if this is a past person that you've dealt with, I think they have no stability. <laughs> like, I think if you look at their life, it's a mess. They make, I think they, even if you just look at the choices and decisions they make, they are not, they are not decisions of stability and they are not decisions of, um, you know, that would lead to more stability in life. So I kind of feel like you're leaping in new directions here. With the Ten of Swords, you have the Nine of Cups. What? There you go. I would bathe in the energy of exactly what you want because then you will get it, Empress, right here. I would make sure that you're filling your head with positivity. I would make sure you're, I would make sure your environment is a more positive environment. It will change your life. Uh, next, you have this round around card and this mending card. See, I think this is a cycle. I'm wondering if, you know, um, you know, this is something that has repeated multiple times. Like maybe you've gone back to a person or you've been with a person multiple times. Um, but I feel like you could be healing a situation or you're trying to heal the situation here with the mending card. So, you know, I would definitely work on that. I would definitely work on healing or healing the situation just all together. Um, you know, again, I feel like you are ending it as well. So some of you could be accepting the healing or, um, you know, again, it's like you, you could be accepting the apology or whatever, but you could be ending the round around type of energy that's going on here and focusing on yourself. The Empress here in this row would really say that you are focusing on your own healing. Empress is a card of pam pampering yourself, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself. And so I think that's what you should be doing here. It doesn't matter what gender you are either. I feel that this is just you. Like, like I said, it doesn't matter what gender. I think you're just healing yourself. I feel like you've learned a lot of lessons. She has 12 stars on her crown, represents the 12 signs of the zodiac. And um, the 12 stars on her head kind of say that she has actually learned all the lessons of all the signs. You know, she has learned a bunch of lessons. So, you know, I feel like th that's, I never say that with this card and it's definitely popping into my head. So I feel for a lot of you, you are kind of learning that. I feel like you're creating a lot of abundance as well in your life. I also feel like you're, I, I'm, get, I'm getting a lot here. Um, I think you're paying attention to chaos as well. She has this waterfall fall right here. In the waterfall, it kind of represents chaotic force or the chaotic energy um, that exists in the world. And it, it, it actually is tied to the tower as well. And, um, you know, if you, when you think about it, if you were at the bottom of a waterfall, you would be getting tossed around all over the place. But on the Empress, it kind of represents the fact that she understands that like, yeah, she is always able to create abundance in front of her, but crazy things can always happen. And so she's kind of like, she's never not grateful for what she has, right? You have the five of swords here, definitely some sort of separation that you could be healing from. I think you're taking the risk of walking away from something. You know, you could be taking the risk of walking away from a person who you thought was a divine counterpart. It's like, you know, maybe this is a, a relationship that you were in that isn't unlike anything you've ever been in before. But I think you're really saying, you know what? But it wasn't stable. It, 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 it's like, yes, my, my, you know, I, I feel that these certain things, but it wasn't right. And I think you're moving forward. You have these six of cups here, which is like a gift from the universe. And, uh, you know, I always say that the six of cups is a card of nostalgia. It's a card of thinking about the past, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going back to the past. And so I feel for a lot of you, you are much more focused on the future. Uh, I also feel this is a turnaround. Um, sometimes I feel with the six of cups that, 
what it really represents is we're getting a gift from the universe. The gift we usually receive is a turnaround. You're bumping up against an obstacle, the obstacle is removed. So there could be obstacles being removed here. That could be a big change. Yeah, with the Six of Cups, you have the King of Wands, new person. <laughs> I feel like there's like a fire sign or a very fiery person coming in for you. Could be any sign I'm getting. Um, could be a water sign here. You have the Knight of Cups, but I feel that this person is very fiery is what I would say. They're maybe very driven, very bold, very assertive. Um, you know, all those other things. Nine of Cups is a knight in shining armor. Uh, even if you don't want love, you have, we see a lot of growth in this reading. And the Knight of Cups is standing in the desert, um, but all he has to do is plant seeds in front of this water and they will grow. So um, again, Gemini, I believe that we are in a time where that is this right here, where we all want to do things, but we all think we don't have the resources, but you actually do have the resources. So I would get to work. With the Empress, you have the Page of Cups. Yes, new person coming in for you. Uh, so after all that, <laughs> there's a new per new love coming in for you here. Something that's much more stable, like a true divine counterpart coming in for you. Uh, even if you don't want love, again, I think that there's a very stable new connect, new situations coming in for you here in your life. And, um, you know, I think it'll be very good for you. You have this clouds card. It says temporary problems. Uh, I would let go of any problems. You know, I, I think that there are some like little problems. Three of swords even can represent temporary problems. Three of swords, it's raining on the card. It doesn't rain forever. But, you know, just realize that if there are any problems, they're temporary. You have this fire card. It says strong, emotion, passionate, love or hate. Yeah, I think that there is a very passionate person coming in for you. Um, I think you will love this person. So there you go. Uh, you have this crown card. It says honor and respect will come to you. Yes, I feel like you are creating more honor and respect in your life. This is probably one of the stable changes that you are making in your life at this time. You have this hand card. It says need in need of help or assistance or guidance. Definitely would be a good time. I, like a lot of people have been getting cards of like mentorship and things like that. So if there's a person you know that could help you, uh, you know, with anything, business, work, improving your life, I would definitely ask with that energy. Uh, you have this November card. Whenever I get these monthly cards, I always clarify them. And you have this great happiness card. So, you know, there could be great happiness coming in for you. I think now it's not like you're waiting until November, but I think it could peak in November. There could be like good things happening by that time. But this looks really, really good, Gemini. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.